Yes, we give thanks to the universe and we also give thanks to our great ancestors who have kept this knowledge for us to inherit through our DNA. Folks, this is your humble teaching high priest, Nufialaga Maupomo Kobla Nonyibe. Today, I want to do a short presentation, and this short presentation is captioned the African spirituality and European religion. I'm going to share two videos with you. One is about the Python deity or shrine in Benin. In that video, you will see one of our black sisters or black sister with a python, royal python, around, the, around her neck. And she's singing spiritual song to this python. And you see, you could see in the video that the python is happy and was responding to the tunes or the song. You know, as I told you, African spirituality is about coding and decoding nature. So from the ancient of days till today, the African knows how to code and decode nature. I know some may not understand this, but that is fine. With time, probably they're going to understand. So that is African spirituality. Understanding nature, how nature works, and how you can use it to your advantage and advantage of others or to use to help others. So that is what you've just seen in that video. Now, let's see the second video. The second video talks about, shows a white man in the church using the same royal python. And because the uh, <laughs> Bible tells them that you would trap on upon serpents or whatever and nothing happened to you, so he went in for a snake, the royal python, you know, as described in their own mistranslations. And they were praying, shaking the snake anyhow. And unfortunately for him, he got bitten several times by the snake. Yes? And you could see blood all over. That is not spirituality. That is man-made religion. That video you just saw or you are watching has nothing to do with African spirituality. This is strictly man-made religion. And this man-made religion have caused him to be beaten till he was carried from the church. Folks, black people in particular, your spirituality is the key to understanding your universe or the universe around you. We are the children of the universe. Until we go back to our ancient knowledge system to understand this knowledge, we shall continue to be slaves to those who want us to be in that condition. None but ourselves can free ourselves. None but ourselves can free our minds. Nobody will do it for you because you know why? The man who enslaved you, the man who colonized you will never give you a system that will make you strong, will never give you a God that will, can save you. It's not possible. How is that possible? 
if the heaven that they've given to us is really true, do you think the European will have just hand it over to the black man on the silver platter? No. A street of gold? No. Even on earth. See what they did to our ancestors. See what they do to people because of natural resources. And they knowing a place in the sky somewhere exists and it's called heaven with all these riches in there. And they will show you the black man. It's not possible. So folks, let's go back to our roots and reclaim what is rightfully ours. Once again, my name is your teaching high priest, Nufialaga Maupomo Kobla Nonyibi. Much love. Yeah.